Like many, I read on social media the news of the luxury car gifted to an accomplished Nigerian, Bishop Oedipo, on his 70th birthday. I read comments questioning the morality of the gifts at such inauspicious times. In my view, we are missing the point. Like Martin Luther King Jr. said, morality cannot be legislated, but behavior can be regulated. There's nothing wrong with pastors give, gifting the bishop a car they say is worth 1.5 billion. But if they can afford it, they're within their rights to give it to whoever they deem worthy. There's also nothing wrong with the bishop accepting it. The focus, however, must be on the potential tax liability and or the corporate governance for the entities involved. The question we must ask is, who is the giver? The pastors, as reported in the news, or the non-profit they head? If the gifts are in their individual capacity, then we will expect the tax authorities to review their tax returns to see if there's a need to conduct a tax audit to establish if there's a tax liability in this case. If the gifts are on account of the non-profit they head, then there's reason to assess whether spending the income of a tax-exempt entity on such a luxury item violates provisions of Section 838, 1A and B, of the Companies and Island Matters Act, which states that the income and property of the body or association shall be applied solely towards the promotion of the objects of the body as set out in its constitution, and no portion from it shall be paid or transferred directly or indirectly by way of dividend, bonus, or otherwise by way of profit. Such contravention requires a refund or the suspension of the Board of Trustees if the Commission considers the action a misconduct worthy of the protection of the assets of the organization for public interest. These are the questions we should be asking. We must strive to raise the bar when it comes to accountability, transparency, compliance, and corporate governance for all entities, whether they are public, private, nonprofit, or individuals. I personally pledge to continue drawing attention to these issues, especially as it relates to faith-based organizations. Thank you.